bears. Hello, animal lovers. Today, we are going to learn all about bears. You can read along with us by downloading this lesson plan from our website, learnbright.org. What is a bear? Bears are mammals that can be as small as four feet long or as big as eight feet long. There are eight species or types of bears. They are brown bears, Asian black bears, American black bears, sloth bears, polar bears, spectacled bears, sun bears, and giant panda bears. Sadly, six of these species are considered threatened or vulnerable. These large lumbering animals move slowly and awkwardly and walk on all four paws, but they can raise up on their hind legs when needed. Bears have non-retractable claws, which means they cannot be drawn back like a cat. They have short tails and can weigh as little as 60 pounds like the sun bear or more than a thousand pounds like the polar bear. All bears have an excellent sense of smell, which helps them find food. Bears live solitary lives, except when a mother raises her cub and they usually live around 25 years in the wild, but up to 50 in captivity. What do bears eat? Have you ever seen a bear holding a honey jar? That's because all bears love the sweet taste of honey. But bears eat more than just honey. Each bear species has a different preferred diet, but they are all considered omnivores because they eat plants and animals. For example, polar bears mostly eat seals, while giant pandas mainly eat bamboo and some small animals. American black bears love the taste of berries and insect larvae, while brown bears in Alaska gorge, greedily eat a large amount on salmon by plucking them right out of the stream as they jump. And sloth bears are super fast eaters even though they are called sloths, which means lazy. They can tear a hole in a termite mound and inhale a whole meal in seconds. Some days, you might feel as hungry as a bear. Did you know that brown bears will eat all day and night, which can be up to 90 pounds of food during the fall? This is because they are stocking up for the time when they hibernate and must live off of a layer of stored body fat. Once the bear has eaten enough and the cold comes, it will waddle into a den and hibernate. Hibernation is a physical state in which a bear's heart rate, body temperature, respiration, breathing, and metabolism slow down. A female brown bear will enter the den pregnant and have her cub, or baby bear, during her hibernation. Female bears will have up to four cubs during this time. After a few months, when hibernation is complete, they are strong enough to walk next to their mother to leave the den. Except sloth bear cubs, they ride on their mother's back. Other interesting facts. More than 10 million years ago, the dawn bear was the first bear to live on planet Earth. Ursavus elementus is the earliest known actual bear, a small dog-sized bear. It lived in subtropical forests throughout Europe. It is believed by scientists to be the ancestor of all eight living bear species. Many people don't realize that bears are related to walruses, seals, and sea lions. And even though koalas are often called koala bears, they are marsupials, and not bears at all. Bears that live up north will sleep during the winter, but they don't hibernate. Remember that hibernating bears lower their body temperature, breathing, and heart rate. Bears in the north take a really, really long nap. And sometimes they wake up during the nap, go outside in the cold to wander around, and then go back to sleep again. Why are they important to the environment? 
Bears are ecosystem engineers, which means they have the power to change their environment. For example, when they forage for food, bears spread plant and berry seeds that hold on to their fur and come out in their droppings. They are also essential links in the food web. As predators, bears help maintain populations of deer and other prey, like salmon. Bears are impacted the most by habitat loss from growing human populations. Losing their land means they have less area to hunt and more chance to run into humans. And when bears come into contact with humans, sometimes there are serious conflicts. For example, bears are killed out of concern for human safety or for eating livestock or crops. In addition, some species of bear are hunted for one of their organs called the gallbladder. Bile inside the gallbladder is a vital ingredient in traditional Chinese medicine. Poachers, or people who illegally kill animals, will target bears for their gallbladders, paws, and skin. Wow! We have learned some cool facts about bears. Let's see what we can remember. Why do bears eat a lot of food in the fall? Where did you find this information? Bears eat a lot of food in the fall because they are stocking up for the time when they hibernate and they must live off a layer of stored body fat. Choose the word the author would say best describes the bear. A. Loner B. Venomous C. Meek D. Scaly E. Elegant If you said A. Loner, you're right! True or false? A koala bear is a type of bear. False. Don't be confused. Remember, koala bears are actually marsupials and not bears at all. Excellent work, bear experts. Remember, if you like this lesson, you can find it and other cool lesson plans on our website, learnbright.org. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.